In the 8th century, the Tibetan Dharma king Tisong Ditsen invited Guru Padmasambhava and many great masters from India. These great masters brought with them the precious teachings of the Buddha. Tisong Ditsen had three sons. The middle son, Muruk Tsempo, was later reborn 13 times as a Tertun. The great Tertun, Tertun Chuju Lingpa, was the last of these incarnations. Tertuns are revealers of treasures hidden by Guru Padmasambhava and his consort Yeshi Togyal for the benefit of future sentient beings. Chuju Lingpa was born in 1829 in Nangchen, Eastern Tibet. Together with Jamyang Kense Wongpo and Jamgen Kongtru, Chuju Lingpa performed many great activities benefiting the Dharma in Tibet. As prophesied by Guru Padmasambhava, Chuju Lingpa opened 25 great sacred places and 100 lesser ones. His therma teachings consist of 33 volumes and his own writings comprise 12 additional volumes. These are the Chokling Tersar. Chuju Lingpa revealed his first therma at the age of 13. Together with the Dharma treasures, Chuju Lingpa also revealed many representatives of enlightened body, speech and mind. Following the advice of the lotus born master in a vision, Chuju Lingpa established Tenchok Gurme Ling Monastery, Tsike Monastery, and Karme Monastery. Tenchok Gurme Ling lies beneath the mountain Yijal Namkadzu in eastern Tibet. Guru Padma Sambhava and Yeshi Togyal stayed here for many years. Their caves can still be seen today. The monastery beneath this mountain became the spiritual residence of Chuju Lingpa. Chuju Lingpa passed away on the first day of the fifth month in the year 1870. Like his predecessor, the second Chokling, Nathan Dubai Doji, performed many activities benefiting the Dharma until his passing away at the age of 46. Following the advice of a Dakini in the vision, in 1959, the third Chokling, Perma Gurme Gyamso, came to India. His wife and his five children, Ugen Thomgyal Rinpoche, Jamyan Gelten, Kenze Yishi Rinpoche, Diki Wangmo, and Zigar Kongtro Rinpoche accompanied him. Few of his disciples were a part of the entourage that came into exile with him. Chogling Rumbuche traveled through Nepal, Sikkim, and the border places of Nubri, meeting other great Tibetan masters in exile and giving teachings to the locals. The third Chogling had recurrent visions of a man wearing leaves with long arms. This man told him that he was from India and had some land for him. In 1966, the third Chokling brought his small entourage to Beer, a small village in northern India. With the help of foreign aid, he bought over 200 acres of land and set up a Tibetan settlement in Beer. 300 families were given land to build their houses. The opening of the new settlement was inaugurated by the 14th Dalai Lama. At this time, he also started building a second Tenchu Gurme Ling in exile. His disciples who had followed him into India formed the first Sangha members of the second monastery.
Dencho Gurmiling in exile started off in a tent with few monks and the oldest son of the third Chokring. In 1973, at the age of 47, the third Chogun Rinpoche passed away. Ugen Topgil Rinpoche was 21 years old. Being the oldest child in the family, he was left with the huge responsibility of completing his father's vision. Guided by visions, the 16th Karmapa and Tilgokinze Rinpoche recognized a little boy born in Bhutan as the reincarnation of the third Chogun Rinpoche. In 1977, the fourth Chogun Rinpoche was brought down to India from Bhutan. He was four years old and given the name Rinzin Gurme Dolji by the 16 Kamapa. Thibokhenza Rinpoche and the family of the third Chogun took him under their wings. Due to the vision of the third Chogun Rinpoche and to the hard work of Ugen Tokyo Rinpoche, Tensho Gurmiling in India is now a place of study and practice for over 120 monks. Ugen Tokyo Rinpoche, in his best effort to serve the lineage of Choju Lingpa and of his father, visited Tibet in 2004 to start renovation on the original Tensho Gurmiling, which was built by the first Choju Lingpa. It took him one whole year to finish most of the renovation. Approximately 300 people worked on the rebuilding of the monastery. Towards the end of Ugen Togyal Rinpoche's one year stay, Tencho Gurmiling held a ceremony which was marked with great joy among many wondrous and auspicious signs. A rainbow circled the monastery, indicating the blessings of Guru Padma Sambhava and that the lineage of Chuju Lingpa will blaze and bring benefit to sentient beings. Amen.